Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking to you guys about a more in-depth video about how we potty train Brownie. Um, and just pretty much everything that you guys been asking us about potty training and just everything that we did, the essential stuff. So please stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. All right, guys. So to begin with this video, we first wanna start off by saying we aren't telling you how to potty train your dog. This is just how we did it to train Brownie and what worked for him specifically. And we don't know if it'll work for other dogs, but hopefully you can learn by some of the tricks that we learned to teach him. All right, so to first start off of the items that we used on a daily basis. So this is what we really used. It's not really like a pee pad brand. They're just like, you can buy them like anywhere. It's kind of like, like, a, like just like pads just that you can pads, put yeah. underneath like adults. Like if they can't like urinate like on their own, like they can just like urinate on the pad. And they're like much cheaper than the ones at PetSmart. So I would go get those. And treats, like buy like a lot of treats because in order to potty train like successfully, you're gonna wanna keep like giving them like treats over and over and over. So really just like the pee pads and treats are like the only really things you need. Um, the main thing with pee pads is that um, if you live in an apartment, pee pads are the main things because if you live in a house, it's much easier to take your dog outside. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you just take them out the backyard yeah. or whatever, it's right there. But an apartment, especially because we live on the third floor, so we, we have to have pee pads, especially like the first three weeks of training them. Um, and another thing that she forgot to say is that um, a playpen or some area, designated area where you would like your dog to pee at so that yeah, the dog so knows. Yeah, so they can go back to it yes. every single time to go to the, to, to go to the, the area. Home. But pretty much those are like the essential stuff that you really need to, to train your dog on with peeing. It's just pee pads and treats, something that you reward your dog with, even if it's like new toys or just anything in general, just something that your dog loves. That's just something that you're just rewarding them when they listen to you when you're peeing, pretty much. Yeah, so for the pee pads, you're gonna wanna like put them around. Like if you're gonna use your house or your apartment, you're gonna wanna use like a lot, like probably like in your living room, put like three or four, or your bedroom, by the door, because the dog, your dog's not gonna know where to pick like their place at first. So you, you just want them to get familiar with it. And then like once they start like peeing on the pad, you can like start like removing how many you put down. But once, like, your dog, like, once Brownie went, like, that first time, like, on the he pee knew, pad. He knew, yeah, he knew all of a sudden. Um, we made sure to, like, make a big deal about it because we wanted him to know, like, that's where he's supposed to go to the bathroom. And so I think we gave him, like, ten treats. And, like, we were, like, screaming and running up and down. And he picked up really quick on that because I, I, I know dogs love treats. So it's, like, I think treats are, like, the main key for, like, potty training your dog. And anything else to add? That's pretty much it because I think she, we're just talking about like pee pads, right? Yeah, now. pee pads. I honestly think sheep poos are just smart in general. So if you have a sheep poo, I'm pretty sure if you guys subscribe to our channel, you you have a sheep poo of some type of or nature. Or you think Brownie's cute? Yes. Um. So in general, like these dogs are very smart. Um. Now, I don't know how other dogs are, but I know these dogs are very smart. For so Brownie they, in particular, yes. he's a very and fast learner. He caught on very quick. I mean, it took us less than a month to train this train him. Yeah. Um, with peeing and everything, so that's yeah, pretty he, much it. Like I that. think he was potty trained like three months. Like when he was three months old. He's eight months old now. He turns nine months in this month in April, and I think he was potty trained in like two weeks. Yeah. So it was, it's not hard. You just gotta just consistent. be consistent with it and just be patient because I mean, not all dogs are the same. I'm not gonna. We're not saying that your dog is gonna be as successful as our dog. Not successful, but. You guys success, get what I'm saying. Yeah, like, successful going in the bathroom. Just be patient with your dog. That's another thing. Patience is key because not all dogs are going to be the same. Yeah, he's going to have accidents. He's going to want to be stubborn and not go certain times. But this is just so, with the pee pads first. Yeah, we just still with have pads first. other sections. Because that's like how that we first started about. training Brownie was with pee pads first. And then that's when we started like pulling the... Like we don't use pee pads at all right now. Like we got, com got rid of completely off we just have those in case for emergencies like if it's raining outside and he has to go to the bathroom but that's, that's just what just for pee pads yeah. so in the next thing we're going to talk about actually walking him 
All right, so now we're gonna actually talk about the transitioning of actually going outside now to go to the bathroom. So when we first got him, we wanted him, we want him to mainly, the goal was for him to only go to the bathroom outside, never in the house. It's, pee pads were just step one. Now step two is getting rid of the pee pads. So we started taking him out every 30 minutes to an hour. And I know that seems like a lot at first, but once he gets used to it, it'll you can cut back the time yeah, like now we go like what every four, three hours three four, four hours. hours like he's really good at holding his bladder but so, with the i didn't mean to cut you off but with the 30 of the uh hour thing that's very key in like the first like two first to day. two to three weeks not even like those first couple of days that you're training your dog because you, your dog is gonna have to go pee every hour that's just how puppies are they're gonna pee yeah their bladder is yeah. very small they're very sensitive whatever so that's just that's just their thing. I mean, you can't be mad if he pees inside the house if you don't take your dog out within that hour to 30 minutes. So just Yeah, be... that's why I said it's going to be annoying, like, to take him out, like, every time. But, I mean, that's how he's going to get trained. So we took him out every 30 to an hour, and we made sure to bring treats with us. I don't know if you guys want to buy, like, a thing to attach to your leash to hold your treats or just bring the treats out. We just brought the, bra the bag out. Like that was just what we did. And so at first he was like, he had to like pick what area he wanted to go in. Cause our apartment complexes has like a lot of different like grass areas. So he now has a designated spot where he pees. So um, when, he, when we first took him out the first time, as soon as he went pee on that grass or poop, we again gave him like 10 treats. We're like screaming and running around outside. People were probably thinking we were like crazy crackheads. <laughs> but we wanted him to know that's where we want, like that's where you need to go to the bathroom. And so then we would go back upstairs and then repeat the process again, 30 minutes to an hour because puppies have a very small bladder. Um, do the same thing if he went pee or poop, scream, run around, give treats. But this process, like this honestly, this is not this shouldn't take you no more than like three to four weeks like you should you don't have to take him out every hour for like a no, whole month yeah, stuff like yeah. that like once he once starts getting trained. familiar with going outside and like your puppy starts getting familiar with going outside peeing outside you can take away you can start taking away the packs around that time um it's probably going to be like within a month of that period if he's like accident yeah. free but like if he's still having yeah if he pees or whatever in, in the house that's fine i mean you don't gotta start over that's just it's gonna happen that, like that first yeah, couple of months they're not familiar with, it, with yeah. it but once they start getting familiar with their area their territory and stuff like that that's when you're going to start seeing the transition of them like going and starting to go out pee more so just stay tuned more and we're going to start telling you guys more in depth of everything else okay so speaking of accidents that was the next topic that we are going to talk about was having accidents so um they are puppies they don't know better they're not the babies so they're going to have accidents um if they do have an accident like on the house pee or poop um you want to talk like what you did so I, obviously I, I was on that train brownie or whatever so when he had an accident the first thing that we did it was we yelled no like that was like he caught on quick because I'm I have like kind of like a deep voice. So when I yell no, and our house it echoes kind of loud too. So when I yell no, he like turned his head real quick and his ears dropped. And I didn't punish him or nothing. Like you don't gotta punish because it's not gonna solve anything. They're gonna do the same yeah, exact thing dogs don't understand the punishment. next the next time. So the main thing is yelling. Just yell no as they're doing it. So as soon as they're doing that, yell no. And if you have a house as they're peeing or pooping try to like catch them, them in the outside. moment and just pick them up and i mean you're gonna obviously have a have a mistake but just catch them in the moment and then just have them go outside yeah, and then just that's when you the praise them when they're doing it outside but uh, if you have an apartment or whatever you could do the main the thing pads. the pee pads yeah do the pee pads as well but the main thing is uh yelling no and then having them sniff their pee or their poop for like mm -hmm. a couple seconds don't don't put their nose in the poop or the pee or whatever but just have them sniffing it for a couple of seconds and then just telling them no again just telling them no 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 mm -hmm. you don't do this and then they'll catch on eventually because they don't want to smell their own their own urine their own poop so those are the two main things please don't i mean you can do what you want to do honestly but what we i didn't i didn't do no type of punishment to him at all honestly i didn't put him in a cage or nothing i didn't Pack, I didn't hit him or nothing because 
it didn't solve nothing. It doesn't solve nothing. The minute I I, t I said no and I put his nose to his, towards his poop or whatever, or his pee for that one, like those two, three mistakes that he did, he honestly caught on and then he just changed that minute, honestly. So that was pretty much it. Just, I mean, but you do what you want to do. If you want to do yeah. reinforcements well, no, or whatever, um, I mean, I can't say something, but what I did um, worked for my dog. So, so yeah. Yeah, and I think that is just um, being consistent with him because I feel like if we didn't take him out like every 30 minutes to an hour, he would probably have a lot more accidents. Um, it would be a lot more inconsistent. So just really sticking to that, going out a lot, will cut back on the accidents. Mm -hmm. And I mean, one thing that we had too that I mean, I kind of recommend um, for apartments too is that we had that playpen. If you guys seen like our first couple of videos, we had a playpen. And that's where we put our pee pads at mostly was at his playpen because that's where he would be at. Not most of the time, but, but if he had an accident, if he had an accident, he would pee inside. He would pee or poop inside that playpen because he knew that was his area. So just if you have a designated area where you would like your dog to be at, um, that's not a certain part of the house that you you don't want your dog to be at or whatever. Just put your pee pads in that area. So if he pees or poop outside of the outside of the uh, pee pads or whatever, at least it's in that area. It's not like on the carpet or something in your bedroom or something. So just yeah, certain things. You don't things. want them to go in your bedroom and poop on the bed and probably just close the doors because that's what we do. We close all doors to like bedrooms and stuff because we know we don't want him to have an accident in there so but they catch on quick to be honest just just be consistent with everything just just be consistent be patient and then once they catch on just reward your dog and then mm -hmm. just praise your dog because once they see that praising and then they see that you're happy they're yeah. gonna know that is like super bingo, that's what i want to do based. if you give him like any attention and just stare at him his tail will be like whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> so i think that's what really worked on potty training him and i think with all dogs too it's the same you give them any attention or treats and they'll that's pretty they'll much do whatever it, yeah. you say so that's it for accidents pretty much um, um the we, one thing that the last thing we have to talk about is him now oh yeah now yeah. that he's about to be nine months old in a few weeks how he's potty trains now what we do so um we take him now like what we said in, in a couple minutes earlier we take him out about like three to four every hours. three hours he's kind of like on a routine so every morning um like monday through friday obviously every we, we have a job so monday through friday i have an alarm that goes off around like six and six thirty in the morning or whatever mm -hmm. And he knows that alarm. So the minute that <laughs> alarm goes off, his head is like popping up yeah, so he quickly. Up. And like, a he's, he up. knows that's when that, that's when he has used the bathroom. So he's literally like staring at us to, for us to get up. And he's licking us for us to get up to get our attention because he's like, I have to go to the bathroom. And he kind of told us and like he, I don't know, I didn't train him on this, but he like, he shows us now like he needs to go to the bathroom. Like, well, we just picked up like on that cue. Like he would just like start pacing around the house, back and forth, sniffing things. I think we figured it out because maybe one time he was doing it, and I think he peed when he did it. So I think that's what made me think, oh, he's pacing around. He's going to the bathroom, or he'll come stand right by. He'll the literally, door. yeah, he'll be by the door. Like say if like we're about we about we have a refrigerator right here, and like we're open the refrigerator or something. He's looking at the door and he's staring at us too, like hey, I got to go pee or something. And then the minute we, we get the leash or grab the leash, his tail is waggling. Like, what's yeah. it waggling? Wagging. And we, right, right when we take him out, he goes pee or poop. Then he's running back upstairs. So um, he he's very good. He caught on. like he Well, we caught on to him very quickly. I don't think he caught on to us because yeah, he, like, told us, like, hey, I need to go pee. I need to go poop now. And the minute we take him outside, he's, like, he's he goes and mm -hmm. he, just, he jets back upstairs, honestly. And he's freaking yeah, running like a wild still dog give him treats too just so he knows like you never know like dogs can go backwards sometimes it's still we give him a treat not 10 treats like how we used to yeah. like scream and run around we only give him like one treat just so he knows like hey good job going to the bathroom outside and not having an accident in the house but now he hasn't i don't think he, he hasn't made a mistake since week no, three yeah, honestly like no there's been no accidents i don't he doesn't he doesn't do anything. So we take him out literally like every, not every three hours. Cause when we go to work, like he go, we go over, like he goes over to her mom's house and they take him out like every three hours or whatever. So it's just kind of like pretty much every yeah, three hours. Yeah, we'll take him every three hours. Or if he eats his meal, we'll take him out. That hour, within that like hour. 30 minutes yeah, after because, because he has yeah. to poop his food out. That's another thing too, that 
if you're feeding your dog, you need to take them out because they're gonna poop, so. And another good thing too, is like at nighttime, right before you guys go to sleep, I don't, I mean, it's up to you guys, but I know like we kind of take them out around 7 p.m. And then we kind of go to bed around like nine o'clock-ish. But before nine o'clock, we take them out one more time just to be safe because you don't want your dog to be up all night, like pacing or something, like looking at well, you. They're going to hold, be holding their bladder for yeah. 12 plus hours while you're sleeping. So, and you um, know how humans are, we get up whenever we want to and go pee. So we just yeah. take him out that extra time at nighttime so he can just be comfortable at night and whatever he has in the morning, he can just wake up in the morning with that and just go up, go pee in the morning within that time. So just be consistent. That's it. Just, that's pretty much it. Be consistent, have rewards. Even if you think that they're already trained, just still reward them because that's how dogs yeah. are. You love to oh, give yeah. them never, treats. Never stop giving treats. Always give treats. No and if they what. do make an accident, I mean, don't punish. Just don't, and you don't have to start over. Just, just let them know that that's not what they're supposed to do in the house and then just take them back outside within that hour. Just go back to doing that yeah, hour of training. So that's pretty much it, guys. Yeah, that's pretty much it on potty training. Um, if you got, if we like forgot to discuss anything, if you still have any questions, comment them down below. Um, we'll answer them right, like right there and then. Yeah. If you guys have another suggestion topic or, or a topic, yeah. what you want us to discuss on trainings or what we do with brownie anything comment down below but as you guys can see brownie is definitely pooped right now yeah so he's like not wanting to be on camera at all but we hope you guys that. enjoyed this whole video of us just doing the sit down of more in-depth potty training video that you guys requested um we hope mm -hmm. you guys like and subscribe like and subscribe to the video um and we'll see you guys next time Bye. peace out